in this week's episode of Working with Evernote, it's all about reminders. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I want to go into a little bit more detail of reminders and how to set reminders on individual notes and also a few things that you might want to use the reminders feature. Now you have to be a little bit careful here. One of the things that I've always suggested is that you should each tool should have its own purpose. So a to-do list manager controls your to-dos. Your notes taking application, in this case Evernote, takes care of your notes and your calendar takes care of your events. But the thing is, Evernote has a very powerful reminders feature and you can actually use this for a number of things. So for example, those you guys who've read David Allen's Getting Things Done book will probably know all about the Tickler file. And I think the Evernote reminders feature is a wonderful way of using the Tickler file, using Tickler or creating a Tickler file within Evernote. There are a few other things that you can actually use reminders for. And in this week's show, I want to show you exactly how I'm using reminders in Evernote. And I will be perfectly honest, this is something new because it's solving a little problem that I have because I really like buying silly little things <coughs> from time to time and I need to just hold myself back. And the reminders feature in Evernote really works for this. Anyway, let's get into Evernote and I'll show you what I mean. But before I do that, I would just like to ask if you like this video, please click on that mic button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's get into Evernote and I will show you what I mean. Okay, so here we are in my Evernote account. And what I'd like to do first is show you essentially how to actually add a reminder. Now, here's a podcast that I came across this week uh, with David Allen, uh, the author of Your uh, Getting Things Done by David Allen. And what, let's say I want to actually set a little reminder like a tickler to actually listen to this podcast. So all the details I need for this podcast are actually here. And I can actually go to click on any of these links and listen to this particular podcast. But I didn't have time when I came across this. But I want a little reminder to uh, to listen to the podcast, say, over the weekend. All you have to do from the from the web and you can do this on your mobile device as well. But from the from your desktop application, you click on this clock icon up at the top here. So you got the clock icon. You click on that. And it's going to say add a date. So I'm going to add a date and say, well, today is Friday. So I'm going to say tomorrow. That's it. That's all you have to do. And now that has, as you can see, tomorrow as a reminder. And that's going to come up. Now, depends on your settings and how you've got that set up. If you go into your Evernote preferences, uh, you can actually set up how you want to be reminded about these things. And here you go in here. So I've got uh, GTD templates is a notebook not subscribe receive reminder emails so I've got mine as set up to remind me uh, by email that I have a a task or a note that I want a reminder on so that's how you've got that set up so but the other thing is is like for me I use Evernote every single day so I'm gonna see this from the reminders section up here on in the this panel here so I've got reminders and I've got my reminder settings here so show upcoming reminders sort reminders by date and I can actually change my subscription settings here but what I've got here is uh, I can actually lift this up and down so reminders it doesn't have to be in your face all the time it's just got one little reminder there and there it is so that's one way that you can use it and I, I really do find it very useful for that sort of thing because I often forget that I've dumped a podcast in Evernote or I forget that I've dumped a, a blog post that I want to read but just didn't have time to read it at that time now there's another way that I specifically use it now most of you, if you followed my YouTube channel for a while, know that I have a big love of shoes. And my 
uh, what I call my chukka boots are getting a little bit old and I need to replace them. And I would be very, very, I love these boots. I just love this color. And the sole for me is absolutely perfect for chukka boots. You can get leather soles, of course. But this is not a, a video about boots. But let's just say that this is a boot that I really, really like. But I have a rule when I want to buy something that I see something is like, yes, I really want it. And I really want to sort of like mail order and click that button. But I don't because I always have a three week rule. And what that means is, is that I will wait three weeks before I make a decision. So I see this boot, say I really want to buy it. And I will click on my Evernote button here. I will clip the article because I want the whole thing. And I'm going to save that into my Evernote and that's going to get clipped and it's going to go to my Evernote inbox. So that's just syncing now, syncing or thinking and uh, that's gone in. OK, so now that's come in. I'm just going to hit my uh, is update. So now it's coming to my um, Evernote now. And what I would do is I would forward. I would put a reminder on this particular note now for three weeks in advance. So I'm going to add a date. And it says in a week, but I'm going to do this in three weeks. So today's Friday the 3rd. So I'm going to make that the 24th. And now that comes up there in my reminders. I will get an email on Friday the 24th of August telling me I have a reminder in Evernote. And I can click on that and go and see what it is. And at that point, I can decide whether I want to buy the boots or not. The chances are I probably will not. Or it will, does depend on the exchange rate between Korea and the UK. But that's just to give you an idea of how I would be using this particular note. And this hasn't rendered very well, but it doesn't really matter because the point for me is that when this note comes up, all I have to do is hit the information button and I can click on view site and it will take me directly to the Boots website to place that order. And that is exactly how I like it to be. So there's just a couple of ways that you can use the reminders function in Evernote. And I find it's really, really useful for that sort of thing. So for things that I want to be reminded of to listen to, particularly podcasts, usually articles I actually use Instapaper for. And also for things that I want to buy because I have this rule that if I want to buy something, I will say, yes, I want to buy it, but I have to wait three weeks before I buy it. So in this case, that's what I would do in this particular case. OK, hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions at all about the reminders function in to Evernote, and I should point out this is the only way I would use reminders in Evernote. I would never, ever use it for tasks because that's what I use to do is for. And I have very strict guidelines on how I use that. But for things like a tickler file or things that I just want a little reminder of on a specific day, uh, to look at a note, then this is a really, really useful function. Thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd just like to tell you about my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. Now, if you are new to productivity or even if you're an old hand to productivity systems, this beginner's guide is designed especially for you. It's around about a one hour long online course that will give you all the tips and tricks that you need to build your very own productivity system so that you can start focusing in on the things that are important to you and start building a life that you can be very happy with. I just want to say thank you again so much for watching this video and I hope you join me in my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. Details on how to enroll in that course are in the show notes below or you can click up there or on the, on the, the video link there. It'll give you all the details that you need to get yourself into this course. Thanks again.